doing today? Today we're celebrating baptism. So we're going to do baptism first today, and we're really excited. We got several people being baptized. And before we go there, what I want to do is I just want to explain a little bit about what baptism is all about. We all come from different backgrounds, and so sometimes it's really nice to go, hey, why do we do baptism the way we do? What is baptism all about? And so really what we want to do is we want to look at the words of Jesus found in Matthew 28. And when Jesus, uh, after he died on the cross and he rose from the dead, and he said, hey, here's how salvation, here's how you get reconnected to God, is that you believe in Jesus, and if you believe that he died on the cross and he rose from the dead, that God would save us and restore relationship with him. And he said, here's what he left to his, his apostles. In Matthew 28, verse 18, he says, Then Jesus said, he said, All authority on heaven and earth has been given to me, and therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them everything to, to obey everything I've commanded you, and surely I'm with you always to the very end of the age. That's the Great Commission. He left that with his apostles, who later instituted that to the church to say, hey, this is what God left us here to do, is to make disciples, to share the gospel with people, and then to help people. How do we follow Christ? And what we want to talk about today is this, is there's lots of things that we can talk about, but the first step after someone has received Christ as their Savior is water baptism. And simply what it means is this, is that baptism doesn't save you. We're saved by one thing, God's grace alone through faith in Jesus Christ alone. That it's no, no works, it's no water, it's nothing special about the water. In fact, this is well water, so... so uh, <laughs> Not anything special, there's nothing, it's very clean, but, but you know, um, it smells because it's got sulfur, so it's nothing special about the water. <laughs> what is special is this, is what it symbolizes, and what it symbolizes is this, a new life in Jesus Christ. And so what we want to do is this, is baptism celebrates several things, and if you're not careful, you'll miss it because it's going to happen so fast, you're going to go, what happened? <laughs> and so let me tell you what it celebrates. It celebrates a new life in Jesus Christ. The old has gone, the new has come, not because we're so great, because he is. And it changes our lives, and we celebrate that. And I believe it's a time period where you go, hey, now I belong to Christ. So the first thing is this. We celebrate a new life in Jesus Christ, that we have received him as our Savior, and he's changed our life. The second thing is this, is that we belong to him, and now we must live for him. So there's a challenge in that, too, that says this, is that, hey, now I need to start following. And so the first step is to say, hey, it doesn't, it, nothing, it doesn't preclude anybody from getting in here. But now you're saying, hey, it's that time period between the time you've accepted him as your Savior, and now you're getting up in front of everybody and saying, I am a Christ follower. And, uh, and there's some responsibility in that. So the people getting baptized today, there's some responsibility that says, hey, now you have to start living for him because people are going to say, hey, didn't you get in the pool? Aren't you a Christ follower? And you've actually said that in front of everybody, and so that's a great thing. And then the final thing is this, is not being alone. We celebrate not being alone, but having a church family that loves and supports me. So it's not us looking at you going, hey, you got to be perfect. Can I tell you something? I know when we got in the baptism pool, we were perfect afterwards, right? Is that true? <laughs> not one of us is perfect. Is that right? And uh, there's some good news and bad news today. The good news is, is you got a church family that loves and supports you. The bad news is, you got a church family, <laughs> right? And if you know anything about family, it's messy, right? And uh, so we invite you guys here today. Some people are being baptized today or not part of our church home. You don't have to be to get baptized here, but we do encourage you guys, hey, make sure you're part of a church home. We invite you guys to be part of us or wherever God leads you to be, but it's not about the brand new branch. It's about being part of his church, which is more than just attending on Sunday morning. It means getting to know each other. It means using your gifts and talents. We don't have all the gifts and talents, just so you know. And as God adds to his numbers, those that are being saved, it means we need you just as much as you need us, and we need you to be part. And that means serving, but it also means allowing us to serve you. It means us being able to encourage you. And there's a responsibility for you to be part, but there's a responsibility for us to help you be part. So church family, today it's our job to pray for these guys every day. It's our job to say, hey, you know what? I know what it's like to be a new believer. You need to come alongside them. Make sure you encourage them. You know, how many people need more critical voices in their life? Nobody, right? So it's not about pushing them down or being up on a pedestal. It's about us becoming the body of Christ, and it's a beautiful thing. And that's what we're celebrating here today. So one last thing is this, is um, we do baptize those that have followed Christ. And every now and then we have people that come from different backgrounds, and maybe you're here today, and maybe one of these is, you, is your, um, your family member. And, and you go, hey, when, when they were a kid, we, we baptized them as an infant. And is, is what we did not good enough for them today? 
please, please, please don't take it that way. Take today as the fulfillment of what you wanted to establish in their life, that now they have followed God just like you wanted them to do. We don't do infant baptisms here. We do do baby dedications. So if you have a baby and you want to dedicate them to the Lord, please let us know. We would love to do that as well. Just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that and understood it. The other thing is this, is maybe you come from very formal environments where people don't express. Um, We're a very informal environment. But I want to make sure I'm clear that doesn't mean we're irreverent to God. We do recognize that this is a very reverent thing and that God does this. But here's what it says in the Bible. It says that when there is one person who repents in heaven, this is what Jesus said, that the angels rejoice over one sinner who rejoices in heaven. And so I just want you to be prepared because some of you guys might not be prepared or you might not be awake and you might not know. So what we want you to do is we want you to encourage them today. This is a big deal. So what I want you to do is just for a minute, we're just going to practice. What would it sound like in heaven when somebody, when somebody comes to faith in God and now today they're publicly declaring that? What do you think it would sound like in heaven? All right. I thought we were going to have to do that again. I think that's good enough, right? And somebody was sleeping and goes, what just happened? (laughs) The rapture just occurred. I don't know what happened. Okay, so you get the picture, okay? So we want to celebrate it. So without any more further ado, I'm going to roll up my sleeves because every time I get them wet, and uh, (laughs) today I'm not, but we are so excited to celebrate baptism. Please express that. Take pictures. This is not a stuffy formal event. This is a family event to be celebrated, and I believe that the one that's celebrating the most is God himself. And so today is going to be absolutely awesome. So without further ado, we're going to do baptism. Okay, so the first person I have is Heather Caddett. And uh, Heather, you realize this is a public profession of your faith in Jesus Christ? I do. You do? And uh, is there anything you'd like to say? Um, just I'll hold it. Okay, this this is 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 the fulfillment of a long journey. I was baptized when I was about 12 when I first came to Christ, but I feel like this is something that I need to do as an adult, fully understanding what it all means. So awesome. So. So awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that says it all, Heather. Okay. And your family so awesome. So, um, Heather, it is an honor and a privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I had the privilege of baptizing her husband, Drew, a couple years ago, and he's a brick mason, and he is the heaviest person I've ever baptized, just so you know. <laughs> he's not fat, but he is all solid muscle, and I mean, it like splashed everything up here, so anyway, it's awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. But now I've baptized both of them, it's such a privilege. Thank you so much. All right, and this is Susan Phillips. Susan, you realize this is a public profession of your faith in Jesus Christ? Yes. Is there anything you'd like to say? I just want to say, uh, like the one before me, I was baptized probably around 11, 11 years old, and I don't remember it. And I think it's something that you need to remember, and I am so glad to give my, my life to Christ. Yes. Well, you're so glad to be part of it. That's awesome, Susan. <laughs> Susan, it is an honor and a privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. All right, and this is Chuck. Chuck, you realize this is a public profession of your faith in Jesus Christ? Yes. Is there anything you'd like to say? Thank you, God. Okay, good enough. The in here says it all, brother. Chuck, it is an honor and a privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.
way front here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's confusing. Sorry. Um, this is Sandy. Yeah. And uh, Sandy, you realize this is a public profession of your faith in Jesus Christ? Yes, I do. Is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Um, when I may cry. It's okay. <laughs> when I'm um, thinking of what to say today, I thought of Psalms 107. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his love endures forever. Amen. Today, um, I get to share this experience with the church, with my family, with my friends, and I get to participate as a mother and a wife with my husband and my children, and I am That's one awesome. happy mother. <laughs> That's so awesome. That is so awesome. Sandy, it is an honor and a privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Classes on. <laughs> okay, and this is Mariah. Moira. Is Moira. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, you realize this is a public profession of your faith in Jesus Christ? Yes. Is there anything you'd like to say? Thank you, Lord. Okay, very good. <laughs> Moria, this is it's an honor and a privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And this is Grady. Is that right? Did I get your name right? Okay. And you realize this is a public profession of your faith in Jesus Christ? Okay. Would you like to say anything? No? Okay. That's okay. You don't have to. You do not have to say anything. Grady, it's an honor and a privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. All right. You can sit down. Yep. Sarah, this is Sarah Parker. And Sarah, you realize this is a public profession of your faith in Jesus Christ? I do. Is there anything you'd like to say? I would like to thank all of y'all. Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah, it is an honor and a privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> awesome. If we could pause... If we could pause just for a minute. Sarah's dad was a pastor, and he went home to be with the Lord. And um, she said, you know, I really want to make my dad proud. And she's rededicated her life to the Lord. And um, I don't know if God lets people do it or not. And I don't really care about being theologically sound here. But I believe sometimes he lets people see what happens. And I believe you can see that today. So it's awesome, Sarah. Thank you. That was a real privilege. James? What do you, James, first? Is that yeah, right? Sorry. sorry. Sure. I'm sorry. You want a whole family? You... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's important as the example, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do that. We got, we got a whole family being baptized here today of, of uh, James and his two boys, and, um, and his wife has been baptized, but they said they wanted to do that here today, and it's just absolutely awesome. So, James, you realize this is a public profession of your faith in Jesus Christ? I do. Is there anything you'd like to say? I'd like to thank all my church family, my family, and my work family for being here. Thank you very much. Just for our church family, James came here at Easter time, and he had a big change in his life, and it's just absolutely awesome to, that God is letting us be part of this, so it's absolutely awesome. James, it is an honor and a privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
and this is Spencer Alexander, James' son. And uh, Spencer, you realize this is a public profession of your faith in Jesus Christ? Yes. Is there anything you'd like to say? I say I want to dedicate this to my two grandfathers, Grandpa Paul and my Grandpa Tommy, who I wish, wish Mary much, very much, and I'm glad that I'm doing this. Praise the Lord. Just put your hand over your nose. There you go. Spencer, it's an honor and a privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This is Zachary Alexander. And Zachary, you realize this is a public profession of your faith in Jesus Christ? Yes. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to say? No? Okay, that's all right. Being here says it all, man. Zachary, it is an honor and a privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Awesome, Zachary. 